Teddy Roosevelt was president in 1902, and Britain's population was 345. It was that year a new school was built on the present location. The first senior class had a total of 13 students. Teachers made $325 annually. Horses and automobiles shared the roads in those days. Telephone service was brand new in Britain, and phone numbers had only two digits. As America came of age in this decade, education and child labor laws were big issues. Milk was 32 cents a gallon in those days. Ouija boards, erector sets, tinker toys, and Lincoln logs were popular toys. The Roaring Twenties saw little change in the life of Britain's school students. Teacher's annual salary was $970, somewhat below the average annual earnings of $1,236. Our 1922 girls basketball team won 11 out of 13 of their games. The 1930s were a perilous time for public education. With money scarce, people did what they could do to make their lives happy. Movies, parlor games, and board games were popular. Parker Brothers introduced Monopoly in 1935. Now, the decade was pretty well defined by World War II. The average annual income was $1,299, but teachers averaged $1,441. 55% of U.S. homes had indoor plumbing. Bubble gum, bobby socks, and bomb shelters. Korea and the Cold War. A time of unprecedented growth overshadowed by the threat of nuclear war. Rock and roll was sweeping the nation along with fear of communism. The average salary was $2,992. The 60s were the age of youth as 70 million children from the post-war baby boom became teenagers and young adults. The Britain Macon track team did well also. As the story goes, there was only one hurdle to practice with. So as one runner jumped the hurdle, the others took turns grabbing the hurdle and placing it at the next position before the runner got there, thus making each man faster and faster. The war and social change of the 60s seemed destined to continue in the 70s. Events of the times were reflected in our music, literature, entertainment, and fashion of the decade. The me generation of status seekers made an average of $15,757 per year. Minimum wage was $3.10 an hour, and 20 million people went to the movies each week. Binge buying and credit became a way of life. Over the years, Britain Macon students have adapted to many changes in education policies, economics, and world events. One thing has remained steadfast through it all, community pride. It's been said that the first 50 years of the last century were dominated by electricity and the telephone. At the last 50 years, by aircraft and automobiles, and that the next 50 years will be dominated by information technology and biotechnology. It's evident that education is the driving force of all these changes.